Hi, I'm Paul. So this video is about using flags and markers in DaVinci Resolve's uh, video editor. I created a PDF earlier today, which I'm going to use as a guide to make this uh, video slash tutorial. It's free to download for you. There's a link in the description of the video. There is nothing required from you, no email address or anything like that. Just simply click the link and it'll open up in your, the PDF will open up in your browser and then you, ch you can just download it. I'll also have uh, links for downloading and installing DaVinci Resolve in the description of the video and that information is also in the PDF. Normally I wear contacts but it's January 14th, 2024. I'm in Chicago and it's about 50 below zero. So even with the humidifier on, it's dry and uh, the contacts are just too painful to wear. So that's why I've got my glasses on. So I'm going to open DaVinci Resolve and then we can get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I've got DaVinci Resolve open. So to make sure we're looking at the same thing, you want to come down here to the bottom of the screen and select edit that will open the edit workspace and then come up to the top to where it says workspace it's up here on the uh, menu bar and then come down and select reset ui layout and then we should be looking at the exact same layout you won't have the video clips and everything else but the layout should look the the same so to free up some more space, this I've added I've added three um, video clips and a couple of text uh, PNG files that I created in Photoshop, and a uh, um, this is a uh, uh, royalty free music track. You're not going to hear any audio. the The video clips had no audio, so I brought this song in and dropped it on the timeline, so it looks like a regular project that you'd be working on with video and audio. So to free up some more workspace, come to the, because we don't need, I never, I very rarely ever have this um, media pool uh, preview window open. So come up to the upper right hand corner and select inspector and it will enclose that window. And then come over all the way to the left and it looks like a little TV icon with two legs. And if you hover over it, it says shrink, click on that. And now we have the entire um, width of the screen to use as the timeline for editing. So it'll make it a little little less um, cluttered and a little easier to, to work with. So the first thing we're going to go over is flags. This is a flag and there's a little drop down so you can select different colors or clear all. Right next to it is where the markers are and it has the same options, but we're just gonna look at the flags right now. So flags are basically used as a reference or a reminder that you're gonna do some other editing or you may wanna do some other editing or even remove the, the clip um, at, at some point or replace it. So um, it's just there um, for your future reference. You can add a marker to any clip by selecting the clip and audio, graphic, photograph, doesn't matter what it is, if it's on the video or the audio timeline. But you cannot add the markers on up here on the timeline itself. They can only be added to a, a clip. So there's a few ways of adding a flag. The fastest way is just to select a clip and press the G key. And it just added a flag right here in the corner. And it added, this is the, the color that the default color for it. So it added uh, a red one. If I want to add another one, I can, uh, again, with the clip selected, with the drop down, I just selected a different color flag. And the other way is select a clip, just come up here 
and select a specific colored flag. And the other thing is that if you want to delete a flag, you can either just click on it and you'll see that it's highlighted. It has a white board border around it. You can just press the delete key on your keyboard. And if you want to deselect the clips, if you've got one or more clips selected on your timeline, you just click anywhere outside of it and they'll deselect it. You can also uh, click on the clip and come up to clear all and select that. If it has two or more clips or, or flags, it's the same thing. You can just come up and select clear all after you've selected that clip. The other thing you can do is double mouse click on the flag. And you have the option for removing, you have a remove flag button. Now, this is the name of the clip on the timeline, which is right here. You can change the color once you've opened this dialog box, or you can leave a note for yourself for future rest reference. And once you leave a note, just select done, and the flag will now have a black dot with a white circle around it. And that lets you know that there's a note attached to that flag. So here's another thing. I'm going to add a flag over here. If you divide the, cl the clip, you cut it or splice it. The flag is added to both clips, the original clip and the subdivided clip. And even if I move this outside of here and I cut it again. And the reason it does that is so that you know, it's a reminder that this is all part of the same clip, the original clip, the original recording. What's nice about DaVinci Resolve, and I don't know about other video editors, is that even though I cut this clip up into multiple parts, it's non-destructive, which means it doesn't matter how many times I cut this clip up, it's still the original clip from beginning to end. So you can't destroy in DaVinci Resolve, I don't know about other video editors, you can't destroy the, uh, the clip. All it's doing is it's just like trimming it. So you always have the original to work with. So you can select each individual flag if you want to um, delete it. Or you can drag your, use your mouse and drag around all of the clips. Or you can hold the control or command key on a Mac and select whatever clips that have flags that you want to delete. And then come up and select clear all and it'll delete all the flags. You don't want to select the clips and then hit the delete key. Otherwise, it's going to delete your uh, your audio, video, whatever other uh, clips that have been selected on the uh, on the timeline. Okay, so we're going to add mar a marker now. So the difference between the markers and the flags is markers can be added on the timeline. So you just move your playhead 
anywhere on a timeline. And in this case, I'm going to use that uh, text PNG file. So right here is where the phone is being handed off. So I could go through my entire project and leave markers so I'll know what, you know, there, what area of the timeline on what uh, or whatever clip that I want to I want to do something I want to add something or edit it in some way so I'll add a yellow marker here this is the point where the phone is being handed off and as you can see because the playhead is over the marker it's showing that where it is on the timeline and the default it just named it marker one so you can add names to it I'll show you that in a second so I could always come back after I went through the uh, the uh, tracks the project and say I want to add this text so I can just drag it and drop it down I add a little fade effect and so now I know where that phone was being handed off and I can come back and do that work later. So another way to add a marker to a clip, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this, I don't need it. Is you select a clip and then press the M key. And it added it to the timeline because and the same thing you press the select the flat or the, the marker and just hit the delete key even though the clip was selected you have to have the playhead over that clip then press m now it will add it to the clip if it's not it's going to add the the marker wherever the playhead is if no clip on the video or audio timeline is selected, it's going to leave it up on the timeline, not on the clip. And you can move these around. You can drag them left to right on the timeline and in, in the clip itself. So the other thing is that, let me add a... Let me add a marker on this. So I keep forgetting to do it. You have to have the playhead over it. So I've got a marker on this clip. If I come up here and then I cut it, it's not like a flag. It does not add the marker to any subdivided section of the clip. And just like before, everything is non-destructive. And if I want to delete it, I can select the clip and then come up and clear all. And you can have multiple markers, as many as you want, as many as you can fit on a clip. Or deselect and then add a marker up on the, the timeline. So selecting it does the same thing. You have a little white border around it. You can press the delete key or you can just drag your mouse over the, uh, the clip. Being careful not to select any other, other clips. Select clear all. And just like before, holding your control key and you can select whatever clips you want. The other thing, and it doesn't matter if it's on the timeline or if it's on the, uh, on a, on a, actually located on a clip, you can double click it. It shows you where it's at on the timeline. You can change the name. 
You can also add uh, a note. You can add keywords, which I haven't used yet, but that's for, I assume, doing searches. You can uh, change the color of the uh, marker. You can also delete the marker here. And then when, when you're, if you click delete marker, it just deletes it. But when you're finished with everything else, just click done. And just like the um, flags, you'll have a red or a black dot with a white circle around it to let you know that there's some type of a note attached to that, uh, that marker. So again, if I've, if I add a bunch of markers and again, I, you can add it to the, uh, I'll add a flag and a marker to the, to the, uh, audio track. So the flags over here to the right. So you can drag the, um, uh, markers, but you can't drag a flag. It just puts it in the right hand corner. And if you add more flags, it just keeps adding them from, from right to left. So if just like before, if you want to delete everything or delete them all, if you add your entire project, you can just drag around everything, then come up here and for the uh, flag, Say clear all, it'll clear all the flags, drag around again, and then clear all for the markers. And that's deleted on the um, uh, video and audio tracks. And then same thing with uh, the flags or the markers that are on the timeline. Just hover over them. You can, or use your mouse to drag over them. You can see that they're highlighted. And it, even if they're not highlighted, if I have, let me add one over here. I just select these two and this one over here is not selected. If I do clear all, it removes all of them from the timeline. So this is pretty handy as far as uh, for your editing. So you can leave notes for yourself on a clip or on the timeline. And again, um, I'll leave links for everything in the description of this video. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, if it did, I would Appreciate if you would leave a like and thanks for watching.